This is Chuck behind the camera tonight. This is a follow-up uh, to the design review. I guess call it part two of the radial radius cutter that uh, my good friend Harold, amateur redneck workshop. Uh, he uh, went ahead and casted the uh, two pieces. So this is the first piece that I thought we'd talk about. If you recall in the uh, first video, I showed it uh, set up vertically in the vise. Uh, so this is a little handheld shot. Uh, I'm messing around here just looking at how I would machine this part to get it started. And uh, setting it up here in some V-blocks. And the V-blocks are not touching the uh, flat here. They're on the radius or the circumference there. And with a square... I think you can see that basically I've got the unit sitting there pretty square uh, between some angle blocks and uh, that was kind of a tease to get everybody to see if I can get them get you barking at me also but uh, so I've I've got this set up in a pallet now and the the way I have it set up is the the T-slots I've got a uh, bolt there I've got a plate against the bolt and then I have the part bumped up against the plate. So I think I have a fairly good straight access on this. Now I'm I, with, with it on the pallet, we'll look at it this way, it gives me the ability to brush off both inside outside faces it also gives me the ability to put this on my rotary table and pick up both of the radiuses or the circumferences here and machine those. Uh, here's a quick little video. Uh, I used my uh, phone that shows I'm using the uh, laser, the laser to set up on the radius to see if, uh, if that works. And I think that'll be a pretty good way to do it. Um, I'm also going to, talking about here, you can see I have it set up on a couple, uh, basically about a half inch. Uh, I've got another video, we'll show you that. And it's basically just using the height gauge and you can see I'm touching off and uh, have the unit really really pretty close. This face will get dusted off right here, uh, get rid of the backwards ARW and then you can see the little green dot here I think. Well if I drill center I'm going to have the ability to move from that point over to here and then move on the X, that would be a Y move, move on the X to this point and I know where that point's at. When I turn it over, I can again use the coordinates that I have, move back over from this point, move back over to my X and then move over and pick up the center. So my plan is, in doing this, I'm, I'm going to drill all the way through this unit but I'm only going to drill maybe a quarter inch. Uh, so I can put a quarter inch rod through it and that would give me the ability to do measuring off of it, off of that rod. Um, I still currently, 
uh, I need to actually break this back down and I'm going to show you another option. I'm going to break it back down. I need to really do a lot of measuring and uh, do a little bit of uh, the Joe Pie and uh, get a little filing and clean up just to get it better. And I need to do some measurements. I haven't done that yet. I just really fooled around with setting this up on the, on the pallet. Now, let me uh, move that guy. Yeah, we got that in the in the camera. So this is the other piece, and basically the same thing. I have it set up on a pallet, and I have a, a jack underneath it right here. So again, I've got it. A, I've got it very, very well set on a flat plane here. Again, I can dust off, I call them the barrels. I can dust off the barrels, and again, I can go ahead and machine this surface, machine the uh, outside and inside radiuses. And uh, again, I've got this just set up quickly, just really just thinking about ideas here and how to do it. Again, I'm using the, uh, the hold down stud, bumping against it, having sitting it up on a block. I had to set it up on the block basically to provide clearance underneath here. So this guy is actually not touching the pallet. It's the jack that's uh, got it held up. So these are my ideas on how I'm going to machine it. Love to hear your comments, your thoughts. Um, but uh, let me break the, the little guy down, little one down, and... Uh, I'm going to show you another idea. It wasn't my idea. It's one of uh, my design consultants. <laughs> he knows who he is. We'll be right back. Just uh, for discussion here, when I do set this in the mill, it'll be sitting on an angle plate. I won't be holding in the vise, and that way I have much more support uh, on this unit and when I turn it back over. But I thought I'd just add that. So there's no question of how that would be done. So this was a, uh, an idea that came from one of the consultants. <laughs> yeah, that's my good friend, Chris. Uh, I love the guy. I wish I, ho I, wish I could meet him. He's uh, over the pond, as they say. Um, but his suggestion was, hey, put the barrel in the lathe. He goes, I do it all the time on motorcycles. And uh, that way you could center drill through the unit. Whoop, hit the camera there. And uh, it, it appears to be uh, appears to be running relatively true right there. Just for the fun of it. I'm actually going to just touch it with the center drill. Push that block two with that. And well, just touch it with the center drill. Just for measuring purposes later, since I have it set up like this. Put a little light on the subject. That'll be interesting for measuring to see uh, how that comes out. So that was a great idea. 
Um, his, his comment was that uh, doing it on motorcycle parts, uh, it's always come out very, very true. So, uh, that's a possibility. Let me uh, pull this out and uh, talk about one other thing. Um, I could do it right here, just freehanded here. So, one of the thoughts was to, again, I call it the barrels. I call them the barrels. Is I was very much thinking about it was machining this on the rotary table when I have it there is go ahead and, and turn on the motor, rotary table and machine these barrels I'm going to machine everything else so I want a nice uh, surface on the barrels my good buddy Carl came up with the other alternative um, since I'm going to drill a hole through here I'm going to have that done one of the methods that I could use is to go ahead and let's pause here for a second okay sorry about that so the other method that I could do I went to go get this so that I could talk about it is to make a couple of hardened washers remember I'm gonna have a hole through here that I could attach these to put the washers on here and now I've got a guide for filing it and I could uh, do a Tom Lipton on it and Liptonize it right <laughs> um, probably simpler and quicker than trying to do it on the rotary table I'll make that decision later but uh, that's a very nice method that I can use it as a guide this is going to get glass uh, glass beaded when it's all done machined so um, if, it, it'll look it'll all look uniform so anyway that's uh, that's the discussion for right now um, if you have any comments questions ideas uh, I'd love to hear them and uh, shortly we will get uh, get machining on these guys um, I got one other thing to show you Uh, for the first time the other day, I took my wife to the flea market with me, and uh, she had a great time. We we didn't get very far because she stopped at every table and uh, looked for bargains. But uh, right at the very end, I came across a table that had some machinist items, and uh, I picked up these guys. Um, I paid ten bucks for these. Uh, a half inch ball end mill, a uh, key seat cutter, and a large boring bar. Uh, so it wasn't a bad buy for ten dollars. Uh, but I, I saw these and I went, hmm, uh, this might work real well to be the tool that comes through this for cutting the balls and go ahead and, and grind these. Uh, it can make them some various tools. So I thought that was a nice little pickup of some tooling and uh, that way I don't have to broach a square hole. I can get away with uh, using uh, round tooling. So anyway, that's uh, it for now. Uh, appreciate you uh, stopping by. And uh, we'll hopefully see you back real soon to uh, continue on on this project. And the old mantra, you know, share the, share the uh, video, subscribe, help the channel grow.